5 to regular polygons. A regular polygon it, uh, uh, is a polygon of course and all sides congruent and uh, its all angles are congruent. So, so the measure of size equal, the measure of angles are equal. So we will talk about properties of these uh, regular polygons. There is a regular pentagon as you see. What's uh, a center? Now, there is a center. So which point is a center? That's the here problem. The center of a poly regular polygon is a point equal distance from the vertices. So it has equal distance from the vertices. So mm -mm, I didn't like that one. Sorry. Now let's use black color. Okay, that's equal to that one. It's equal to that one. So these are all equal. When these are all equal, sorry, I couldn't draw well. That's better. Okay. These are all radius. Let's say these are the radius of a circle. The circle around the polygon. We can call that's a. Why it's a circle? When you draw a circle here. Oh, that's okay. That's very good. As you see, these are radius of the, this circle. It's around the pentagon. So that's the center of the circle. At the same time, center of this regular polygon. For any kind of polygon, you can draw a circle that's passed through their vertex. Uh, and the center of the circle will be the center of the polygon. So these are the radius, actually. Okay, a central angle. Now let's come to central angle. As you see, there's a drone with the center of the circle that's one let's show you Mark the marker. here the center of the circle so a central angle see so we will form an angle such as from this endpoint go to the center and go to other endpoint so that's an angle this angle called center angle of course all these are center angles and all of them together make 300 60 degrees so measure to measure one of them so one two three four five to measure only one of them 360 all of them 360 divided by number of the sides because we have five sides so we will have five central angle for hexagon six sides so we will divide by six let's continue to calculate central angle we will use 360 divided number of the sides so another property, if there is a regular polygon, the parameter is equal number of sides multiplied by length of one side. This S, it stands for length. In my lesson, I use L instead of this S, the length of the side. So parameter, let's use P, it's equal number of the side multiplied by L. So what's the parameter? The total distance around the shape. Apotem. So apotem is the distance from the center of the polygon to a side. Choose a side. Let's choose that side. Let's. Uh, I want to draw find the center. To find the center on a regular polygon, it's the best way. Draw two diagonals. That one and. That one and that one, yeah. Now I find the center. This is the center of the polygon. Unless I don't need these two anymore. Let's delete these two diagonals. I find the center. So how we from point to line? What is the distance? This is 90 degrees. The line segment with the 90 degrees is show the distance from point to the line segment. So we call that one apothem and we will show it by using A. So how why is it is useful? If you calculate the area of this triangle, so the when you draw this uh, line segment from center to vertices, so there will be congruent triangles. These are all congruent triangles. How many of them we have? six of them if i calculate on area of the one so the hex area of hexagon area of hexagon will be called how many this triangle here six 
the number of the triangles multiply by area number of area of the triangle so what's the area of the triangle length multiply by height the a that's f of them divided by 2 so the number of the hexagon is equal number of its sides multiplied length times height divided by 2 that's length times apothem we can call okay now if i reorganize that one instead of 2 i'm going to write 1 over 2 times number of sides 1 over 2 times sorry not and 1 over 2 times number of the sides multiplied one side length multiplied by apothem give us the area of hexa uh, n sides polygon area of n size polygon so i can say area of n size polygon if you think this is the parameter 1 over 2 times parameter times a bottom usually we will use this rule but n times l parameter just i want to show that details find the central and let's solve some example let's solve some example find the central angle major of each regular polygon octagon so the number of sides equal 8 how I can find central angle? 360 divided by 8. So, 360 divided by 8. If you divide it by 4, 90 divided by 4, 2, 90 divided by 2, it's equal 45. Pango, pentagon, it's 5 sides. Number of sides is 5. So, 360 divided by 5, it's equal, let's say, 70. Four, no, 72 sorry 72 36 7 times 5 35 1 then bring down 0 10 no, 72 11 uh, you can calculate the same method 360 divided by 11 so it's approximately equal in the 36 3 times to win uh, and it's become 32 times 32 points so approximately 32.7 it's one digit decimal is enough for this example okay find the number of sides of each regular polygon is central angle given here i can say it. the central angle 30 is equal 360 divided by number of sides so right over one here make cross multiply 30 times number of sides equal 360 Divide by 30, divide by 30, number of the sides equal, uh, cancel it, 12. So, to calculate if the central angle given and if it asking number of the side, you can say number of the sides is equal 360 divided by measure of center angle, let's say CA, central angle, no problem. So, number of sides equal 360 divided by 20. And equal 18 you can call use same method for the rest of the examples find the parameter I will solve only one example I don't want to record a long video what is the parameter equal length number of sites multiplied by length so what is number of site octagon so n equal 8 8 times what is length 6 48 centimeter pentagon 5 times 5 12 upon 12 times 3 you can solve that one you can try find the area of each regular polygon so apothem is given here what is the area 1 over 2 multiply by number of sides it has 7 sides if you count it 7 multiply by 3.12 I don't want to confuse you decimal point and I use decimal in the parentheses multiply by 3 so 3.12 you can simplify by 2 it's become 1.56 7 times 3 21 so area equal 21 multiply by 1.56 1.56 so you have to do mathematics here 1.56 multiplied by 21 1 times 6 6 1 times 5 5 1 times 1 1 put the 0 here because we come to multiply by 20 I put the 0 of 20 first 2 times 6 12 2 times 5 10 and it's become 11 2 times 1 2 and it's become 
3 y 3 u i don't know 2 times 6 12 2 is here so where is the 10 go here 2 times 1 10 11 where is the 1 here 2 times 1 2 plus 1 so it's become 31 add them 6 7 2 3 how many decimal digit 2 decimal digits so it's equal 32.76 Let's see the second example. On the second example, it's a hexagon, but that length is not given. So I will call this length x and I will use Pythagorean theorem to calculate x. Effect is here. That's a uh, hexagon. For hexagon, this length is exactly equal to sine uh, length of the side because when you draw that one, that becomes 60, 60, 60. It's an equilateral triangle. So you can say they are 10, but I will use a Pythagorean theorem to calculate this half. This is x. I'm oh, sorry. And this part is x, 2x. I have 2x here. So I will use Pythagorean theorem for this triangle. What is the Pythagorean theorem? Hypotenuse square equal sides legs one first leg squared plus second leg squared of the second leg. So 100 equal x squared plus 5 square equal 25 and square root of 3 square root of square root of 3 is 3 it's become 75 x square equal 25 you can do mathematics here 25 times 3 is 75 minus 75 minus 75 use the square root x equal 5 or x equal negative 5 that's what we learn when you learn algebraic expression but that, that's we talk about length so it cannot be negative x equal 5 I found the value of x and it's equal 5. What is the length? Oh, sorry, I was square here. Let's shrink that one. I don't want to do any. Oh, come on. What's the problem here? I forget to lock that part. Let's lock that one here. Okay, that's better. If I put it here. Now I find the value of x. So the length equal 10 because it's x plus x 10. So what I'm looking for, area equal 1 over 2 times, it has 6 sides, multiply by 10, multiply by 5 squared of 3, simplify this 2 and 6, that will be 1, that will be 3, 1 over 1, 1, 1 times 3, 3, area equal 30, multiply by 5 squared of 3, 30 times 5, 150 squared of 3 meters squared, and I forget the right units, centimeters squared. Okay, that's all. That's the uh, last example about area. I have one more to go. That's a square. So let's draw a square here. Let's look like square. Let's change the color to the black. And what is that? At the center, so the apotomous 3. That's a good question. You can do mathematics here, but you don't know the size. To calculate the length, you can draw another apotem, it's a regular polygon, so that will be 3, that will be 3, the side, you find the side 6. Because it's a square, if you know the area of square is length multiplied by length, 6 times 6, 36 centimeters squared, this is the first. If you don't remember, and you want to use the rule n times l times apotem, so that's equal 1 over 2 times, 4 times, 3 times 6, so half of let's simplify this is 2 2 times 3 is 6 again 6 times 6 36 centimeters so it doesn't matter how you use centimeters square sorry it doesn't matter what method you use we get the area of the square that's the last uh, example thanks for listening